Introducing from your left to right, Tama Samoa, Nick Kaniski, and Stony Burke. Excitement, Don Koss. What other word could describe what's going on in the Pacific Northwest right now? The Klan, stronger than ever. Rip Oliver has got the heavyweight belt, and uh, Abuda Dean and uh, Mike Miller have taken the tag team belts. But believe me, we're working hard. We're going to get them back. We got Coco, probably the most experienced, uh, strong, you know, everything going for him. Scott Doring, the got to be the strongest guy in wrestling. Brady Boone, one of the most agile. Nick Kaniski standing here. You know, great amateur background. He knows more moves than a normal wrestler has forgot, or he's forgotten more moves than a normal wrestler knows. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. He knows I, a lot of moves. Out. That's <laughs> right. So, you know, it's happening. The people got to come out, support us. Fireworks, everything. We, we can do it. Absolutely right, Stoney. And you're certainly right about the excitement and controversy going on in the Northwest right now, Nick. Missing belts and everything. Well, hi, first of all, how you doing there? I'd just like to say I'm hi. Good. Hi to all my fellow fans out there. And I'd just like to mention that in the 13th will be in Pellington and the 14th will be in Yakima. Please come out and support us. Uh, things have been really happening in the Northwest. And uh, I wish Brady Boone and Coco Smoller the best of luck. And uh, I have a feeling they'll get those belts back. Uh, I'd like to introduce this uh, young man here. I think he's just a tremendous wrestler. He's coming along great. And that's Tama Samoa. Tama, glad to have you in an interview. It's the first chance that we've had to talk to you. And certainly welcome to the Northwest. And you are a very exciting professional wrestler. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Don Owens for the opportunity that he gave me here in the Northwest to prove myself. And I'd like to also say hi to all the fans out there for the support. Thanks for supporting us. And we need all the support we can. And I'd like to thank Barry, too, for the opportunity that he's given me here in the Northwest. And I'm proving myself to make a better wrestler for myself and for everybody else. Well, you've certainly made yourself known throughout the Northwest, especially uh, with people like Tarzan White, people like Mike Miller. And I know that you want your shot at the Klan, too. Yes, i like to have a shot with the Klan, too. And I hope they're working hard because I'm working hard, too, to be there. And I hope I'm going to meet them someday in the ring. And somebody, I'm ready for them. Okay. You know, the three of you would make a pretty good three-man tag team. Yes, that would be. That would be very exciting. So like I say, uh, Tam is doing really good. Stony Burke, we're all improving. Uh, I'm learning day by day and I'm improving. And my training's going good. And so I want to get, get and roll some heads with that clan. Okay. Stony. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Nick Kaniski. Thank you very much. Tam is some more. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Excitement. Uh, excitement in the air. You better believe it. There are three very, very fine gentlemen outside the ring, inside the ring. They're all business, and they're all very exciting professional wrestlers to watch. And he's right. When big-time wrestling comes to your area, be sure and take it and support these men. Boy, I tell you, they work their hearts out for you, and that is a tough life. Believe me, these guys are going at it sometimes six and seven nights a week throughout the entire Northwest. And we're talking about from Seattle to sometimes they'll go over to Spokane and they're down into Medford and uh, Grants Pass. Boy, they, but they, uh, they mean business. No matter what city they're in, they mean business with whatever opponent they may be against. And the Klan, of course, wreaking havoc throughout the Northwest. We've got the missing belt. Hopefully Don Owen will make some kind of an announcement. He'll have to reach some kind of decision if that missing belt is not found or replaced. That's the missing Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship belt. And, of course, as you've heard by now, the Tag Team Championship has changed hands. It's no longer Brady Boone and Coca Samoa. Now it's Mike Miller and Abuda Dean. The crowd telling us that...